Starlight Coke is actually pretty good. I I, I was wasn't sure, but I liked it. I liked it. Hashtag not sponsored, but I would try it. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's me, Jackie Armand. I'm back again with another spooky craft video. Today, I thought we'd do another like little uh, just fun craft. It's something I've been wanting to do ever since I did my Black Flame Candle video and my um, Hocus Pocus Spellbook video. I've been trying to think of other like Hocus Pocusy things I can do and um, a thought came to mind that I could make some uh, little potion bottles because there are potions that the witches use uh, in the movie, potion ingredients really, that they use in the movie um, to make their potions, uh, specifically the, you know, potion that used to steal children's souls and become young again. So I thought we could uh, make a few of those like little ingredient jars. Um, we're gonna just make two this time, but I plan to do a future video and make some more. Today I thought we would make oil of oil and dead man's toes. And the book said, yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yes. Oil of oil and a dead man's nose. Dead man's toes! Yes. She's trying to concentrate. No. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. I made the labels not too long ago and I do plan on making these labels available in my shop on Etsy. It'll probably be more than just the two. It'll probably be a compilation of four that you can buy and download and you can print them at your leisure. So um, that will be there and I'll leave obviously a link in the description for that. But uh, I guess before we get started on that, um, I would like to say that if this is the kind of content you're interested in, if you like crafts, you like tutorials, you like spooky recipes, um, and just everything, anything like all around spooky, even costuming. I do a little bit of costuming on this channel too. That you would give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Um, don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. It is Halloween all year long here, not just in October. So if you like that, then stay with us because it's a lot of spooky fun on this channel. Also, if you're looking to support this channel in a little more personal way, I have a Patreon. Patrons are um, eligible to win uh, things like giveaways every month that include items that I make on this channel, like the Black Flame Candle even. So if you saw that video and that's something you're interested in that you uh, would like to maybe possibly win uh, or be eligible to win, then you can head to patreon.com slash Jackie Armand and maybe think about giving us a little bit of support. There's also a lot of other rewards that uh, patrons can earn, and so uh, check it out. Even if you only want to contribute $3 a month, that means a lot. So I guess without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the video. Hi guys! Okay, we're back in the craft table and we're going to, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that you need for the bottles. So first, of course, you're going to need something to put the uh, ingredients in. Uh, for oil boil, I got this bottle, it's like a little flask, comes with a little lid. I haven't put it on yet because I didn't want to break the little seal on it. I got this on Amazon, I will leave a link to it, but pretty much any kind of like bottle you want to use is fine, but I just kind of thought a flask was cool for this. For the Dead Man's Toes, uh, I got this one from Hobby Lobby. I wanted a relatively smallish one because I felt like I didn't want a really big container to have to try and make a whole lot of toes to go in. I didn't want to make a whole lot of toes and I don't know, I felt like you know, if the Sanderson sisters were to get these dead man to dead man's toes, that uh, they would probably 
hopefully only kill one person at a time for these toes and you wouldn't have like a big huge thing of toes i don't know like <laughs> sounds so disgusting but uh anyway i didn't want to have to make a whole lot of toes as gross as that sounds so i picked a smaller one uh you know saved me some hard work as far as other ingredients go uh for each one you're gonna need some mod podge uh, we're gonna color the uh glass of the bottles with it and yeah i think that's it for both of them uh for the oil of boil what we're gonna use is some dish soap some yellow dish soap i just got this store you get some at the dollar store i found a yellow color that i liked um this is gonna imitate oil basically soap is pretty thick and it kind of imitates that oil without actually putting oil in it because that can get moldy and gross. And I just found a yellow that I liked that I thought kind of mimicked that oil color. If there was a color you didn't like at the store, you can always get clear and you can add food coloring to it to get the desired color that you want. But I liked this yellow. I thought it was good, save some steps, and just got it. As far as the rest of it, you're going to want some floral tape, some brown floral tape. We're gonna use that to kind of cover up the uh, lid here so it doesn't look like plastic. <laughs> and um, some jute twine. And of course, a label. Here's my oil of boil label that I printed out, that I made and printed. Um, again, this will be on my Etsy shop so that you can buy and download and print out yourself. And then for the Dead Man's Toes, the stuff you will need is, um, a coffee filter, preferably a brown kind. If you can't come across the brown kind, you can always use white. You can even better use a used one. I used to, a while back, save all of my used coffee filters and rin like rinse them out because um, they were perfect for stuff like this because um, they were like already stained with coffee and they looked old and it was great, but I no longer have a coffee machine that I need filters for anymore and so I just buy the brown ones and they work pretty good. We're gonna cover this lid so it doesn't look shiny and silvery. And then uh, you're also gonna need some burlap. I just got this roll of burlap at Walmart. And um, some more twine, but like some darker brown twine this time. And then, of course, also a label for this one. This is my Dead Man's Toe label that I made and printed. And of course, for the toes, Model Magic. I tried to think of a lot of ways to do this. Um, you know, I know they made like novelty body parts for Halloween at the store and online, like fingers and stuff. But they don't make toes and they make fake hands and legs and feet, but like, I don't know, just, I couldn't justify buying like a whole body part just to cut the toes off of and then repaint it and I was just like well magical work so you've seen me use this before in a previous video if you've watched my um Sander the Winifred Sanderson's spell book I use this to make all of the stuff on the outside it's very lightweight it's great it's good for people who are like me that don't necessarily do things with clay. I'm not very good at clay molding. I'm just not. I get frustrated with it. And this stuff is really easy. It's like basically Play-Doh. So it's really easy to manipulate. And I don't know. I like it. It's great. So that's what we're going to use uh, to make the toes. So basically the first step uh, is that we're going to rough these up and color them. Now I'm going to use a little bit of um, sandpaper first and kind of like rough up the bottle so they look a little bit old and scratched up. And then we're going to basically use a uh, equal parts of Mod Podge and water. And we're going to color it to paint onto the bottle. So that's what we're going to do first. And uh, okay, let's get to it. <laughs>
really see much on camera, but it's a little bit scuffed up. Um, you'll notice more once we put the Mod Podge coloring on because it'll get in all the little scratches. But if you want it to be like really, really visible, you can get a really, really coarser grate of sandpaper and it'll be better. But anyway, um, so now what we're going to do is, and I've already mixed this up. I just get like a little cup and I put equal parts of Mod Podge and water. I think for these two, I just got like a plastic spoon and just got a spoonful of Mod Podge and then measured a spoonful of water and mixed it up in there. And I added um, food coloring. I believe I did two drops of red, one drop of blue and one drop of yellow. And I got this like gross brown color. And uh, basically we're just going to get like a little uh, brush here and we're just gonna brush it on to the glass and then we're gonna let it dry and it'll give it this like aged glass look effect. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do next. So, all right, let's get to it. Okay, so we're just gonna let these dry for a little bit and then we'll come right back. Um, I've said this in a previous video, but when you're painting them, don't worry too much about it sh looking streaky or if there's like some bubbles in it or anything, like don't worry about it. Um, that won't really show because we've mixed it with water. That's bound to happen and it's gonna look imperfect when you've painted it, but it's fine. It's not gonna show when it dries and also kind of adds to the uh, oh, making it look old anyway, so it's kind of fine, but I promise you oh, it won't show up uh, once it's dry. It will look fine. Okay, so yeah, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back uh, and we'll work on the uh, oil of blue. Okay, so it's all dry and you can see now, like you can see this, how it's like brown and dingy looking, and so it looks really old exactly what we wanted. It looks really cool. The Dead Man's Toe one did too, so nice. It looks really cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just fill this up with the soap to make it look like the oil. We're gonna put the cap on. I'm gonna use the black, the brown floral tape to uh, just basically wrap around this cap here. And then we're gonna like do a layer of Mod Podge over it to kind of like keep it there. And then we'll tie some jute twine around it, put the label on, and we'll be done with this one, okay?
Okay, so it's all done. Here it is. I, yeah, like you, like you probably saw, I used a little bit of a lighter to kind of burn around the uh, jute twine to kind of make it look old, give it like a scorched, just kind of old look. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't fill it all the way up. You could if you wanted to, but I kind of thought it was cool if it wasn't like all the way filled, but yeah, that is, uh, but that's it for the oil of oil. Okay, well, we'll move on to the next one. Um, I don't know if I'll end up doing the toes tonight or I'll wait till like the next day. But I mean, this video is probably going to be a two day video anyway, because even if I start the toes tonight, uh, they're going to take some time to dry because it's not magic. So either way, I will uh, either I will see you tomorrow either after the toes I've made the toes or before. I've okay, well, see ya. It is day two of the project, uh, but a couple of days later. <laughs> Model magic sometimes takes at the least 24 hours to cure and dry, and sometimes 72. So we're a couple of days later, and our uh, toes are dry, so they're ready to paint. I felt like today would be a good day for that because it is cloudy and rainy and cold today. Um, even though it's supposed to be spring, like, I, I really wish it would just warm up around here. Yesterday, it was actually, like, in the 60s, and I was like, great, I'm gonna wear my, my, like, my, uh, warm weather clothes, you know, that I've been itching to, to wear. So I walk out of this, the house with shorts and a cute tank top on, and it's great while the sun's out, but then the second the sun went down... I was freezing <laughs> and I immediately regretted my decision. It's like that meme uh, on the internet where it's like the one with Britney Spears and it says uh, you're, you know, jump the gun to wear your 
your false sweater, but it, but pretending you're not, you know, dying and in and, and burning up. Yeah, that was pretty much me, but like the opposite. But anyway, it's cold, so we're gonna just paint some dead man's toes today. I hope it could be a good day for that. And pretend that it's not, that I'm not wearing a sweater when it's March. End of March. <sighs> okay, but yeah, so pretty much we're just gonna paint them. Um, I'll also like kind of get into the paints that I'm going to use here in a minute, but once the paint is dry and then we'll work on decorating the jar. I don't know if that will be today or that will be another day. Depends on how long the paint takes to dry. It's usually not that long, but you know me in drying times. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we'll just go ahead, I guess, and uh, get into the painting. Okay, so we got our little toes right here. Um, I ended up, which I showed, I think I showed at the end of the last, before, <laughs> I think I showed a, a little bit ago that I added some toenails to them and then some like little warts. I don't think I showed that on camera, uh, me doing that, but I just decided to at the last minute. So, whatever. But I think what I'm gonna do color wise to paint these is I think I'm just going to use this it's called honeycomb by folk art it's kind of like a tan color and I think I'm going to use this for the toe this is a paint that I bought back when I did the spellbook project so that's what I think I'm going to use for the toes and then I think what I'm going to do for the toe nail is I might mix some like off-white that I've got here and just some like actual regular white together and make like kind of an off-white because this is a little too yellow and then probably paint over the toenail. I might water it down just a little bit so that it's kind of makes the nail see-through so it looks more opaque or less opaque. That's the idea. We'll see how that goes. I think I will also use this dark brown, it's called Bark Brown by Folk Art, that I also used back when I did the spellbook video to kind of like make them look dirty. I'm just gonna like add some dirt to the toes and like around the nail and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna kind of like go with what I think looks aesthetically pleasing. And, and then I think I will probably mix that dark brown with a little bit of red and paint the where the like in here like where the toes cut off to kind of make it gross. but uh yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do we'll see i mean as i go along i might add or not do things or something but i think that's pretty much what i'm gonna do paint wise so okay go ahead and get started on painting i think i'll just do the top and the sides first and then you know flip them over and do the uh, other side but i think what i'll start with is just painting the entire toe with this i don't know maybe i will actually do the bra dark brown i'm thinking maybe in like the creases where the little you know knuck knuckle is whatever and then maybe this part and maybe i'll do that first and then let that dry and then go over with the because i kind of want that to like you know, the the little creases to stand out and painting them dark first might be a better idea. So, okay, we'll do that first. All right, well, get to it.
the next day. Okay, it's uh, the next day. We're just gonna go ahead and like jump right in. Um, so all our toes are painted, um, and we're gonna put them in our little, they look so gross, and we're gonna put them in our jar, and then basically we're just gonna kind of try and find a spot on the jar that is like our least favorite side that doesn't look as interesting, and we're gonna put our label on it with some Mod Podge, and then, um, after that we're gonna coat the lid here with that coffee filter that we have um that is somewhere basically what we're gonna do is kind of like cut it to the the size of it like how short it is and then we're gonna coat this with mod podge and then put the coffee filter over it and then coat it again with mod podge and when that's dry we will take some of the uh burlap and just kind of cut a square out and you know, drape it over the lid and then we'll tie it with some of this dark twine and then we'll pretty much be done. That will be it for the dead man's toes. So um, that's it. We're going to just go ahead and jump right in and finish this thing. Okay.
They're done. Um, we got our oil boil right here. And, you know, the oil inside. And we've got our dead man's toes right here. I actually kind of went back and redid the burlap on there. I decided that once I burned it, it got a little too short for my liking, so I did another one that was a little bit longer. So I guess keep that in mind. Um, but the toes in there look really gross. They look super cool. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, just keep that in mind when you're burning the edges of the burlap that it can make it shorter. So maybe, you know, let it be really long at first and then burn it and see what you like and I kind of did like trim a little bit here and there and stuff so but yeah I definitely like that better anyway yeah they're so cute I love them I'm gonna put them on my bookshelf that I've got um all of uh my other hocus pocus stuff on my black flame candle and the spell book are over there so I'm gonna put those potion jars next to it and on that note, if you haven't seen my Black Flame Candle visit video, I will link to that in the description. And also the uh, Winifred Spellbook will also be there linked as well. So if you haven't seen those on my channel, please check them out. They're also really cool. Black Flame Candle video is very easy uh, craft to do. And the Spellbook takes a little more work, but it's not unachievable. I feel like it's pretty easy. About as easy as like the dead man's toes go because um, we use the model magic in that video also. But um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's it. So I'm glad if you guys stick stuck to the end of the video, you know, thank you so much. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching me make these Hocus Pocus potion bottles. I will put these potion bottles up on my Etsy shop so they will be available surely by the time that I, this video is released on YouTube. I'll also have the labels on my Etsy shop as well. I think I'm going to do it in a four pack so there'll be these two plus pox for you know a dash of pox and newt saliva will also be there. And if you guys want to see me make those potion bottles eventually let me know because that would be kind of cool. I think I might continue and just make a whole collection of Hocus Pocus potion bottles. I think that would be kind of fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you in did like this video, made it all the way to the end and you liked it, uh, as always, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. As far as new videos go, the next video I come out with will definitely be planning my Halloween party for this year. 
you guys really liked the last one. I'm getting actually a lot of people watching that one right now because I guess other people who are like me are starting to decide to plan a Halloween party. So I plan on doing another video. Uh, this year our Halloween party is going to be vintage Halloween themed. So I'm going to sit down with my Halloween planner and uh, show you all the ideas I have, all the things I want to do for the party, the food, the crafts, the decorations, all of it. And uh, we'll also make a spooky cocktail, kind of like I did last time. So I'm excited about that. Um, so look forward to that if you are a party planner, if you're thinking about doing a vintage Halloween theme for a Halloween party, Halloween birthday, whatever. Look forward to that because I hopefully will have some ideas for you guys and it'll also be kind of a look into future videos on this channel for this year because I will film the majority of the projects that I do for this party. Um, also after that will probably be I will finally get started on my costume. <laughs> I bought some things, there's some still some extra things I need to get like you know, fabric dyes and stuff like that to start on it, but um, I definitely want to do a video of that, but that will probably come after the party planning video, but but yeah, so look forward to that stuff. Other than that, I will leave links in the description of this video to my social media, my TikTok and Instagram. Uh, you can check out stuff like that. I post things from my Etsy shop, I post just spooky things, halloween -y things, and I will also post a link to my Etsy shop where you can check out all of the witchy prop potions that I sell all year long. Not to mention, of course, obviously, things towards making this project. Or if you want to buy these bottles, you don't want to make it yourself, you can purchase them on my, purchase them on my Etsy shop. And I will also uh, leave a link to um, my Patreon. Again, if you want to support this channel in a little more personal way, other than just hitting that subscribe button, you can head to patreon.com slash Jackie Armand and give a little bit. Patrons can win things like uh, monthly giveaways of which I give away things like that I've made on this channel, like these potion bottles. Um, so if there's things on this channel that you saw me make that you thought you might want the possibility to win every month, head to the link and think about giving a little bit. There's obviously a much more rewards on there than just that, but if you, even if you can only contribute just $3 a month, that is a huge help. And if you're looking for something else to do in between my videos, uh, in between the releases of my videos, that's also kind of spooky that you want, you know, that, to occupy your time, uh, I have two books on Amazon. Um, one is a zombie romance, and one is a vampire adventure story. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the links in the description. I will link to my Amazon author page. They're available as paperback and Kindle versions, and you can read a snippet on the Kindle version before you buy to see if it's kind of your thing. Also on my author website, which I'll also leave a link to, you can read a preview, a sneak peek of the book that I'm currently writing right now that will hopefully be out sometime soon. It is about a young woman who is possessed by a demon. So if that's interesting to you, you can check that out and like get a little preview before that comes out. But other than that, that's pretty much it. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for all the love, the support, the likes, the subscribes. It means the world to me. And uh, I guess stay spooky, you guys. And until next time, I'll see you in my video next video. Okay, bye. Thank you.